Hello everyone, today I will show you how to move your 3D object to UI similar to this one. So let's get to it. As you can see, this is my starting scene. I'm using my joystick system for this video. If you want to see how I made this joystick system, you will find the link in video description. For all the assets I'm using in this video, you will find the link in video description. First, I'm going to make a collectible item, which is a 3D gem. As you can see here, make sure after downloading, you set the scale factor to 0.3, otherwise it will be too big. Now let's drag and drop the 3D object to our hierarchy. It has like white color. Let's change the color to something else. This looks good. Add a box collider to our gem and make it a trigger. Also. We want to give our gem a custom tag. So add tag and let's call it gem. Also gem to tag. Make a prefab out of gem. Create a script called gem manager. And add this gem to our prefab. Open gem manager for modification. Remove the default methods. So what we are going to do is we are going to check the collision between this gem objects and with the player. Private void on trigger enter. If other dot game object dot compare tag to player. For now, we are just going to print like debug.log collision happen. Also, disable our game object. So, let's see if it works. Okay. Yeah, so our collision is works, right? In your case, you can write this on trigger enter on the on the player or another object. So on that time, this gem tag will be helpful. For your case, then you're going to check like compare tag to gem. One tip for you guys, like I have character controller, that's why I don't need like rigid body and the collider. But in your case, make sure one of them must have rigid body to it. Our collection is done. Now next steps to make the UI. So go to right click UI canvas scroll to skin size 180 and 2.5 let's create a UI image and put it to corner you offset like minus 50 looks okay and give width like let's say 200 and let's change height to 80 and this looks good create another image inside it and let's call it to icon and drag and drop our gem icon to UI check the piece of aspect ratio now click on the canvas, go to 2D, we're going to set our anchor to our icon, so it's currently center, we set to here, this looks good but we need to give up more spaces, so 70, let's give minus 100, yeah, let's duplicate this 3d object as gem and just make some copy of it like so just duplicate them however you like
so I press play and yep our gems are disappearing but what do you want to do you want to move our 3d object to our environment. open gem manager script create two variable called public rec transform icon also another boolean variable is moving to ui also comment out or delete this line of code and you can also delete the debug log but because it works and we don't want to disappear our gems create an update method so if is moving to ui it's true we are going to move our object to our icon position first we are going to take the one position of our icon camera dot main skin to wall point icon transform dot position one tip for everyone please don't use camera main on update just create a start method and let's create private camera main camera camera dot main this system is called caching references so use system like this rather than using main camera on update every time and this works for get component too for moving our object to UI we are going to use vector tree move towards so transform the position vector tree dot move towards transform dot position or target position wall pose also move speed into time dot digital and movie speed is right that because we need to declare our speed so public float movie speed whenever our player collide with the gem we are going to make our is move to ui equal to true also let's do one more thing if is move to ui is false then we are going to make it to true and this will ensure that our trigger gets called for one time not multiple time let's see if our gems move to ui let's compile select all the gems and keep movie speed like 10 also add diamond icon on the icon variable okay this one now if you play so our 3d object is going to ui the system works yeah but there is one problem like our speed is really slow so first let's keep like 30 yeah now our next step is whenever our gem reached ui we are going to disable our gem okay and this is the way we are going to do it if vector tree dot distance world position and transform dot position is less than 0.1 f go to game object dot set active false also equal to is moving to ui equal to false okay and after reaching the ui you can see our gems got disabled okay one thing i want to talk about like why i am using update function moving objects that's because in this tutorial as you can see our gem start position and end position always changing in respect to player but in your case maybe you're using a static camera you can use dot in move system by using dot in move system you will have a lot of animations on your movement 
let me give you an example this one uses a static camera as you can see i'm this this are a 3d object but they are going to ui you see and for the move system i used dot in movement system but it will not work in this case that our player is moving so in respect to player our gem position is also changed now let's add a trail to our gems that because trail looks cool okay so click on the gem right click effects and is a trail time like point one also give color to similar to a gem at the end let's make our alpha to zero we don't want to cast shadow and receive shadow also now let's see if we play yeah there is a tail but trail width is too much let's reduce the width like 0.5 now yeah it looks better i want to do something like this uh, whenever our gem reaches the diamond it increases the score by one so let's make a text mesh pro component okay, full space then i go to middle give size like 40 initially let's make it to zero and give offset from the right to like 50 also we need to change our background to something black give alpha like yeah this works also size you can do small so 50 also make it a bold create a script for managing our text so let's say score manager Let's call it public and current score and take the reference for our text we do create a method here for public void increase score current score plus plus and the score text dot text current score to string and we are going to call this function from here score manager okay so let's take the reference for our public score manager score manager score manager increase the score now go to unity add the score manager to our canvas let's drag and drop here give reference for our text also select all the gem and drag and drag score manager we play yeah, so it's now increasing our score as you can see here so in your case you can be using like a progress bar maybe showing a mana bar or health item pickup you can do a lot more with these systems i'm showing you the only the basics this is for today guys if you have any question or need further instance please feel free to leave a comment below if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching